Welcome to the fifth section in my Twitch streaming series. In the previous sections, I covered hardware and software and the initial setup for OBS. In this section, I'm going to cover the best settings to use in OBS to get the highest quality stream possible while maximizing your audience. So let's get it done. First, it helps to understand that the three main things that will affect your stream are resolution, i.e. 720 or 1080p, which dictates how sharp your gameplay will appear, FPS, which is how many frames per second your game is running at, and bitrate, which is the rate or speed at which your game clips are sent over the internet to the Twitch servers. The higher the resolution and FPS of your game, the higher the bitrate required to send your gameplay over the internet smoothly. Of note here is that even as of this year, if you are not partnered with Twitch, it makes more sense to stream at a resolution of 720p and at a frame rate of 30 FPS if you are playing fast moving first person shooter games like Call of Duty or Doom. This is because for people who are partnered with Twitch, their viewers will have the option to lower the quality of the stream they are watching if they have slow internet without affecting everyone else. If however you are not partnered with Twitch, like most of us, your viewers won't get this option. And so whatever bitrate you set in OBS is the bitrate your viewers will have to view your stream at. And if that bitrate is too high for your viewers' individual internet connections, then what they see at their end will be laggy and unwatchable, so they'll just watch somebody else's stream. I've found that the ideal bitrate to maximize your audience can only cope with 720p streaming on fast-moving games. For games with very little on-screen movement though, like Hearthstone for example, you can stream fine in 1080p with lower bitrates. And don't don't be fooled here, if you are streaming games like Call of Duty or Doom, a smooth running 720p stream is actually great to watch, and much better than a laggy 1080p stream. Something to be mindful of, though at the end of the day, it's up to you. So with all that in mind, head on into the OBS settings menu by clicking this button right here. Now go up to the output tab on the left and change the output mode to advanced. On this streaming tab here, make sure audio track one is selected. Set the encoder to X264, tick the enforce streaming service encoder settings box, leave the rescale output box unticked and set the rate control to CBR.
Now, let's look at the bitrate field. It's this bitrate that will ultimately determine the quality of your stream. Set this too low and your stream will be terrible quality. Set it too high and people around the world with slower internet won't be able to watch your stream without lag. The best setting in this box for 720p streaming is generally considered to be a bitrate of 2000, as this will ensure your stream has enough bitrate to give a reasonable quality 720 p stream while also making it accessible to the maximum amount of viewers. Me, I personally find 2000 a little low for games like Call of Duty or Doom, even at 720p, and so I don't mind raising this just a little bit to get a better quality stream at the risk of losing a couple of viewers. There is also a general misconception that just setting this to 80% of your home internet's upload speed is the way to go, though this is incorrect, as it only takes into consideration the connection at your end and the Twitch server end. It doesn't take into consideration the connection at your viewer's end, so if if you have blinding fast internet and set it to 80% of that speed, then people with internet slower than yours won't be able to watch your stream smoothly, which means you'll lose them as a viewer. Not good. What you should be doing is choosing a bitrate that suits everyone first, then making sure that your home internet's upload speed is at least 25% higher than that bitrate. And testing your home internet's upload speed is as simple as going to testmy.net and running the upload test. So in saying all of that, if you are playing fast-moving first-person shooters like Call of Duty, stream in 720p using a bitrate of 2500, making sure your home internet's upload speed is at least 3.2 megabytes per second on testmy.net. For any games with very little on-screen movement, like Hearthstone, you can stream in 1080p with this same bitrate. Or if you want to ensure you are reaching the max possible audience, stream slower games in 720p using a bitrate of 2000, and make sure your home internet's upload speed is at least 2.5 megabytes per second. If you find your home internet's upload speed isn't fast enough for these bitrates, what you can do is tether your streaming PC to your mobile phone, as mobile phones generally have much faster upload speeds than home internet connections. What I would say here though is that if you are doing that is watch the amount of data you are using, because Twitch streaming will eat through your mobile data fast. If you want to know how much data Twitch uses on a stream, you can either use this formula here, or you can just look at the table on screen now, which will tell you the answer straight up. This table lists the three main resolutions, 480p, 720p, or 1080p. Yellow here means low quality, but easy streaming. Green means great quality and easy streaming, and red means high picture quality, but it could be difficult for viewers around the world to watch your stream if they have a slower internet connection. So if you are not partnered with Twitch, I'd recommend staying away from these red settings. The list also outlines two types of game, which are games with little on-screen movement like Hearthstone or games with lots of on-screen movement like Call of Duty. It shows which bitrate you should be using for each game 
and how much data each one uses for an hour of streaming, a minute of streaming, and a half hour of streaming. So here you'll see that for games like Call of Duty, you should be streaming at 720p using a bitrate of 2,500. And this will use approximately 1,125 megabytes of data per hour, aka 1.125 gig of data per hour. This works out to be 18.75 megabytes of data per minute, or 562.5 megabytes of data if you are streaming for half an hour. You can also get away with streaming slower games like Hearthstone in 1080p at that same 2,500 kilobytes per second bitrate. Or if you drop down to 720p for slower games like Hearthstone, you can get away with a lower bitrate like 2,000 kilobytes per second. And this will use 900 megabytes, aka 0.9 of a gig of data per per hour, which is the same as 15 meg of data per minute or 450 meg of data per 30 minute stream. This table is also part of the supplementary info with this course and I've put it on the course content tab on your dashboard for this course so you can print and save it for future reference. Moving on, with your bitrate set, change the CPU usage preset to very fast if you have a medium spec PC. Or if your PC is powerful, then in this drop down menu, you can change this to faster for a better quality stream at the expense of increased CPU strain. For those of you with an absolute beast PC, then you could set this to fast for the best results, though I wouldn't go much lower than that. Then just copy the other settings you see here. Now go up to the audio tab and where it says track one, set your audio bitrate to 96 if you have slow internet. Otherwise set this to 128 as it's the highest quality audio bitrate that Twitch will stream in.
Now over on the left on this audio tab, set your sample rate to 44.1 kilohertz, your channels to stereo, and your desktop audio device to default, which it should be already. Now set everything else here to disabled, unless you are using the built-in microphone on your webcam to talk to your viewers, in which case you should have this mic aux audio device set to your webcam already. As I'm using a webcam, but not the built-in mic on my webcam, I'll set this to disabled. Then over in the video tab, set your base canvas resolution to 1920 by 1080, as this is the dimension of the canvas that you'll lay all your sources out on. This output scaled resolution dropdown, on the other hand, dictates the resolution you will be streaming in. So for games like Call of Duty, set this to 1280 by 720 for 720p streaming. Or if you have decided to stream to Twitch in 1080p, then set this to 1920 by 1080. Now set the downscale filter to bicubic and the common FPS values to 30. Now hit OK to confirm all your changes. Before going any further, let's do a Twitch stability check to make sure your gameplay will stream smoothly once you're finished setting all this up. To do that, go to the Stream tab and add question mark bandwidth test equals true onto the end of your stream key and hit OK. Doing this will set your stream to private so you can run a practice stream without anyone else seeing it. Now head on over to Google and search for Twitch Inspector and open up this web page here. Now making sure you are signed into Twitch, connect your Twitch account to Stream Inspector. Now back in OBS, hit start streaming. Give it a few seconds to catch up and then keep an eye on the Twitch Inspector webpage for a few minutes while you play your game. If your stream is stable, this will say so here and it will be nice and green. If you hit the red here, you may need to reduce some of your settings in OBS. To do that, go back into the OBS settings menu and in the output menus audio tab, lower the audio bitrate to 96. Then on the streaming tab, you can also lower the video bitrate a little. If you are playing fast games like Call of Duty at 720p, lower the bitrate to 2200, though I wouldn't recommend going lower than that for that type of game. For slower games like Hearthstone though, 
if you are streaming in 720p, you can bump this down to 1800. Or for this type of game, if you must stream in 1080p, set this bitrate to 2000. Then on the video tab, change the output scaled resolution to 1920 by 1080 to stream in 1080p, while still reducing the bitrate a little. If you still hit the red in the Twitch inspector, it could be that your internet is just too slow and you will need to drop to a 480p stream and lower your bitrate even further to 1200 for fast paced games or 1000 for slower games. At this resolution though, you'll either need to be at the top of your game or hilarious to make a living off Twitch. It could also be that your PC is not powerful enough to stream to Twitch and so an upgrade may be in order. If after all that your stream is still not stable, then it's likely that internet cabling attached to your house is no good. In that case, you have to test your PC to a hotspot which you could set up on your mobile phone and stream using expensive mobile data. Whatever the case, once you're done testing, make sure you remove that question mark bandwidth test equals true line from the end of your stream key so that when you are ready to stream, it will go public. And finally, make sure to hit OK to save all your changes. And that's it for the OBS settings. In the next section, I'm going to show you how to create a sick graphic overlay to give your stream a professional polish. And you can also check my YouTube channel, which is Facepalm with a four and a one not an L for a range of free videos covering everything from VR to regular gaming. So I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.